Okay, so welcome back everyone. Let's try to get some progress progress here on the upgrade randomizer. This is gonna be episode three of the upgrade randomizer and also this is um, gonna have a three times XP requirement as well. And as you guys know, we are in Black River still. So, and we're level two. So we're gonna get started and try to complete some more missions. Um, this is kind of odd for me to be streaming twice in a day, but this will probably be a little bit shorter of a stream uh, because it is Saturday night and my wife is out with her friend having dinner. So she probably will come home at some point and then I'll probably have to get off. So let's see what we can do in the time being. Um, see if we can get some stuff done. Okay, so what I would like to do is get this scout 800 out of this lead star. <gasps> oh. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm recovering him anyways. And him, we're going to take and peace out and go down here. And we're going to get this pump. So this is a good bit of experience. Uh... Actually, do I go down this way? Actually, no, hold on. This is a good spot. Actually, it's like right, right here-ish is probably a good spot to like just jump and enter in. So that's what we'll do. So for anyone who is finally tuning in here uh, for their first time watching this, this is an upgrade randomizer stream and upgrade randomizer playthrough. It is totally different from a regular playthrough. It's totally different rules. And it's honestly kind of revived um, it revived my I don't know my passion for this game honestly so i think after season eight i started to dwindle a little bit with wanting to play or wanting to continue to play snow runner um all the time because you know it, it just gets it gets old i don't know after a while doing the same thing over over playing the same same game modes over and over so it's definitely kind of nice to just mix it up with the upgrade randomizer and and also you're not like leveling up every two seconds so it's just kind of nice i feel i feel like it's um it's a really good game mode i really rec recommended someone all right so let's go up north northeast here and then we will go grab this uh this next pump It's kind of crazy. It says it's supposed to be for an off-road truck, but I'm using the Scout 800. Kind of funny. Kind of comical, actually. So earlier today on stream, I actually was talking about... I was... I'm actually going to smoke a, a pork butt here, which is essentially a pork shoulder. I don't know why it got called a pork butt. There's like some background history to why it's called a pork butt now, but we're going to smoke a pork butt. I think I'm going to kind of prepare it around 11 o'clock tonight and 
put it on the smoker. And yeah, it's gonna it's gonna smoke overnight. I'm probably gonna have to get up and and do some wrapping, wrap it up, and then throw it back on the grill, etc. All that all that good stuff. But I'm excited for it. But I've been having some trouble with my my grill or my smoker. I have a Traeger uh, Pro Five Seven Five, and ever since I moved here to Ohio, my my lid, well, here, the backstory is they broke a lot of things on my, on my Traeger grill, like my chimney, they broke it off. So I had to go buy that um, separately. And I noticed that I was losing smoke out of the bottom side of the lid. And I was like, how is this happening? And lo and behold, the lid was like an eighth of an inch open at the bottom. Well, you, you like you lose heat, you lose smoke that way. So, oh gosh, how am I gonna get through here? I think I might just try to go through all this junk. Just try to do it, I guess. And so, you, so you're losing heat and smoke out of that that spot, right? Well, I didn't think it was too much of a big deal until I did ribs. Oh my goodness. When I did my ribs, um, they they came out all right. It's just some of them didn't get done enough to where the bone should be like falling off, or like the bone should be like literally just the meat should be like almost sloughing off the bone. There was still some some grab to the meat off the bone, so I was like, okay, this is not done enough. Why is the other half of the the rib? still or like falling off the bone and then that's when i figured out that there was a hole or there's a gap in my lid so called traeger up they they told me to replace the hinges on the the lid of my my smoker so i replaced the hinges still didn't do anything call them back up which their customer service is excellent by the way um i called them up again i'm like hey that didn't work so they actually sent me out a a whole new lid and um i thought that was really cool of them to do that so i got a brand new lid i put these heat gaskets that kind of seals the grill around it um they're really recommended to do that because you lose a lot of smoke around your lids when, especially when it's cold so put the heat gaskets on it and I go out there, I put the, the new lid on it, and lo and behold, once again, the lid does not sit at the bottom. There's still like an eighth of an inch of gap. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm wondering if the, the company that shipped all my household goods here, if they damaged my grill to where... Cause the if, so the barrel, I guess the barrel must be like dented or must be messed up or something so yeah i'm i don't know what i'm gonna do tonight when i throw that pork butt on i'm probably gonna have to bungee cord it down so it doesn't leak any any smoke or heat oh gosh oh gosh But yeah, that's basically on the agenda for tonight. Oh, I did it again. Okay. Okay, it's right there. Dude, we'll cut through this this stuff right here. Still don't have a snorkel for this at all actually probably won't get it for a, a long time what is going on oh come on
But yeah, if you uh, if anyone wants to get into smoking meat and just want an overall good a good grill to start out with, because because smoking is it's it's like a different thing, right? There's the traditional smokers that you have to literally tend the fire, and it's it's like an all day thing. You know, you have to deal with temperature swings, you, so you have to build your fires right. And you have to run them clean, or you're just going to put out dirty smoke. Well, I'm not there yet to where I'm... I'm so, I guess, like... I'm not that much of a fanatic of, like, doing traditional barbecue that I would buy a traditional uh, stick burner. But... Right now, for me, the happy medium is is a pellet grill, which it doesn't produce the the same amount of smoke flavor. But I mean, you can get it close. I produce some pretty good stuff. Okay, I'm coming back to the garage because the other pump is over that way. So, so this is the good thing about this playthrough is um, I'm not worried about recovering. Not really, not really an issue. So we're just going to recover whenever we want to. Yes, Alfred, we are live once again. My wife is actually out to dinner, so it gives me some time just to relax, chill. And I thought, why not stream? I would have streamed like, man, probably 45 minutes ago, but I was having trouble with my OBS connecting um, actually picking up my video game to like broadcast it. So, you know, I was like doing research and all this other jazz. So yeah, but we're here. Hopefully I can get a pretty good stream in. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay live for. But we'll see. I'm going I'm to try to do put in some time. Hopefully my wife stays out a little late with her friends and I can, uh, <laughs> I can do this. Cool thing is we did our, our Christmas right after I got off the first stream and my wife bought me a, an actual like popcorn maker, like a legitimate popcorn maker. And, um, it reminded me of when I was in the Air Force. Every Friday, we would have jalapeno popcorn, like where they actually take pickled jalapenos, they roast them in the oil first, and then they throw they throw in the popcorn lap next, and then they pop it all together, and it is just amazing. So she bought me one of those. Oh crap! Get out of there! You finished the rocket delivery in Cosmo? Nice, man. That's an awesome feeling. Oh my gosh, I will. I will. I used to actually make that same recipe in the in uh, on stovetop for my wife. It's so good, man. It, it's it's just so good. But it's if you don't like spicy food, it's not gonna be for you. Oh man, this is uh, this is gonna be rough. Actually, I don't know. I shouldn't go this way. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry, there's the the beep again. The birds flying. Hey, look, the birds look good in this game. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. anybody who is wondering why uh, I'm not continuing my my hardcore playthrough is uh, I wanted to try this out it's not going anywhere I'm definitely going to to continue that and also the playthrough with max power 
Nicely done. Finally start getting things back to normal around here. It's 3,000. That's what I wanted. That's super, super good. Good experience, too. Okay, I got an idea. This probably seems real stupid, but have an, an idea. Some type of idea. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, so close. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Yeah, all that work, man. Glad you finished. I'm trying to move him up a little bit. If I can some. I doubt I'm gonna be able to do this. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do this with this with the scout. I don't think I'll be able to do this with a, a bigger truck. Yeah. I don't think it's going to take... I don't think this is going to happen here. I might as well just continue instead of just grind. I probably could wedge myself on that tree. And then like pull him... Pull him to me and then do a leapfrog thing. But it just would be kind of miserable. Oh yeah. Man. That uh... That mission, just setting up trucks for everything on that, just crazy. Okay, so missing machinery. I might try this, actually. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can do something else with this. Pipe dream? Oh man. Okay, hold on a second. This to the town storage consumables. This actually looks good. We're gonna try. We're gonna try this one. This one, this one sounds pretty good. We're gonna do our little tandem here with the scout and the uh, <laughs> fleet star yeah I will be playing the low tier co-op with with max power still um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream that I feel like it's getting hard to to talk to people um, on the stream and then communicate with him as well so I feel like we're just like stepping on each other with talking and stuff. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're going to, I'm going to continue streaming that one. I'll just, I'll, I'm going to see how, how Max feels about that. Cause I don't know. I don't want him to be annoyed, annoyed with it when I'm trying to answer somebody and answer him at the same time. There we go. That's, that's fine. Go. So you use the 605R in the start, and then you switch to the Colop 74760. Okay, nice. Yeah, the Colop is good. Colop is a nice, nice truck. You know, also, I think. So that that's a flat face Colop, right? Um. I, I, pr I think if I were to play a more now, I would probably use the long face collab just because it's it's almost I don't want to say it's almost impossible to tip it over, but I'm 
you, you can you're really hard if you'd be hard pressed to tip it over um it, it's insane like I deliberately tried to tip it over and took it off some crazy things and I took it it and its brother to the same spots and they're both really stable but for some reason the 74941 just doesn't want to tip over at all man Come on, please don't do this. Thank you. You were surprised how good the collab was? It, yeah, they can, man. They're they're just big, bulky vehicles that can just plow through stuff. And it's kind of nice that you get the, the active suspension. So, no, I, so here's the thing. I do think this, the uh, 74760 gets better performance outside of low gear because it has always on features, right? So even if you're in auto, any gear, you, you have those features on and it's still a very, very stable vehicle. So I think performance wise, the six zero, the seven four seven six zero is going to get better performance, just because always on all wheel drive and diff. I mean, it's it's easy mode, right? Um. So, it, it's like there's like a trade off. They're both really stable. The seven four seven nine, the seven four nine four one is more stable, but it lacks a little bit of performance because it doesn't have always on features. 74760, although it is very, very stable, it has, I think it gets better performance because of just always on, all the drive diff lock. But I guess it's kind of a toss up, like how much were you in, in low gear in the collab? That's kind of where you need to, um, kind of what you have to ask yourself is how much were you in low gear? how much you were going to be in low gear for a more oh man probably a lot i guess i'm guessing yeah i'm gonna try to stay out of this muck Oh, oh, I know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect you would tip it. it. It's pretty. It's stable, man. It's it's a very stable truck. I'm not. I'm not taking anything away from it. It's. It's so. It's really wide. Huge tires. It's super stable. Oh, you were in low gear a lot. See, like, that's just the trade off. If you wanted to have, but here's the all. Here's the big thing too. Is, what were you using the collab for? So if you're using it to pull like the rocket trailer and stuff like that or to pull special mission trailers or you're just using it to I don't know save people it's it's really I don't think you honestly like when it boils down to it I don't think you could go wrong with either so that's my that's my my two cents I don't think you can go wrong with either collab so but you did have the active suspension for him right I'm guessing you did. You probably went to Yukon. Which, uh, that's an awesome upgrade, too. Oh, nice. Okay, so you did have the active. Yeah, I think they're, I think they're equals. I'm just gonna take it slow up here, because if I think if I switch out... Yeah. Actually, wait, I'll, I'll leave it out, actually. But the active, man, the active suspension helps so much. It 
It was almost like the devs knew. They're like, yeah, we're going to give you guys the active suspension because in two seasons, we're just going to crush you with a more. So what's what uh what region is next for you, Alfred? We're gonna go. We're gonna go pick up consumables actually. I'm gonna go down here to the farm, grab these consumables. I'm gonna take this scout out of my bed. Cause I don't necessarily need him in there if I'm gonna have other things that will give me some weight. That trailer was so easy to high center, yeah. Oh yeah, it was like it was like winch runner. What what vehicle did you use to pull the the trailer out of uh uh what's it called? Northern Aegis. Oh, you still have to send the rocket into the sky? Oh man. That's gonna be that's gonna be a good one. Okay, so let's unpack this truck. Get this scout out of this bed. Put me some consumables in here. Get out of here. Okay, off to the town storage. Actually, before I go there, I'm going to pick up two sets of wood. Stop by the... Um, stop by the sawmill real quick. I'll just stack those on top of this. Do this all in one go. So, last episode on episode two, um, we pulled off some pretty cool rescues with this Fleet Star. Um, highway tires, no all-wheel drive, just differential locking, no upgraded gearbox, no race suspension. It's basically bone stock. And yeah, we did some pretty cool stuff last uh, last episode. They all will be um, upgrade. I'm being, I mean, uploaded on YouTube. And this randomizer is actually called Snow Mixer, and the mod maker is his name is Naked Dave. Really nice guy, um, nice enough to get on the phone call with some random dude, which is me, and uh, walk me through how to do all this stuff, so it's really, really nice to see that. So thank you so much for that, Naked Dave. Appreciate it. Okay, so you only use the collab? Okay. Nice. Use the cat to refuel your trucks, though. Yeah, the cat's pretty nice, man, with the fuel tanker. Definitely nice with the fuel tanker. Okay, 
Okay, let's go this way. Down to the sawmill. It's a pretty easy route here. And that cat never got stuck to yeah man that's that's the crazy thing about the 745c it's it's awesome in uh in any deep condition it really is it's it's one of the best yeah <laughs> yep it does it does crush ice i used it to cross um that ice river in urska river to get over to the cosmo drone gateway I think the one time I just didn't want to drive through to the road and I just I took him and another vehicle and just pulled them through that that ice. So Okay, I'm gonna throw some cargo up on this top of this, uh, these two pieces right here. Wow, that came out really quick. I feel like this crane is being very fast. I wonder if he altered that in the files at all. This thing is moving. Like not no not normal. Bring my legs in. Let's go. So you haven't really tried the Azov 4220? Yeah, big tires, strong engine. You know, there's there's uh, been some testing that people have done where the Azov, the 4220 actually edges out the, the cat in some areas, vice versa. It's kind of a toss up. I'll probably pick the the cat in in basically every scenario, just because the cat is is super stable, and the Azov is not. But the thing is, the Azov can deliver cargo. It can hook up trailers. So I mean, it, it just it the Azov is like a focused beast, right? You can use it, and ha to great effect. It's just. You gotta be mindful of tipping over. Because you can get yourself into a pretty bad spot. I think if you know you're going into like a shallow area where the terrain is not a mountainous, I guess. You can you can use the Azov really well. You wish the Azov had a fuel tank? Ooh. That'd be kind of rough actually. Thinking about it, it might make it a little bit more tippy with the fuel tanker, I'm, I'm guessing, honestly. Alright, here's all the materials for this mission. You 
yeah, it would be cool to try for sure. It definitely would be a good support roll with with a with a tanker on it. Level three? Let's go. We did it! 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 <laughs> Let's go. We did it. 260. Thank you. This is going to be a huge difference. Folks around here. Time to roll up our sleeves and get this town fixed up. Okay, so what? How much experience do we need for next level? Let's see. 3,600. To get to level 4, I need 3,600 experience now. To get to level 3, it was 3,000. So, it is getting harder and harder. Oops. Oh, my controller. There we go. <laughs> you need to use those sounds more? Yeah, I need to actually make those a little less. Maybe I'll make those like worth like 250. Maybe I can get off stream. I'll do that. I'll, I'll decrease the uh, the amount of points needed. So I kind of like those. Materials order. Wet harvest. I haven't done this one. This is actually a really good one to do. I need to do this drilling spare parts. You know what? I, okay, you, you know what? I'm gonna go do this stuff because I need to do this last task. But I also need to. What is on this thing? There's there's cargo on here. Bricks. Where do I take bricks? I know where I take bricks. I take bricks. It's on. Pipe dream. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. So we're going to recover. We're not going to do wet harvest right now. You're going to do... Let's see. Yeah, I need to get the scout. Okay, back on the party continues with these two. So if you're wondering why I'm constantly doing this, <laughs> try a log mission. I, I actually, I'm going to pretty soon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, there we go. Okay, note to self, put your anchors out. Will I get over it? Mm. No. But life goes on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to decrease those, I think. I think 500 is too much. 500 points is too much to use those. All right, so we're going to go back across the map up north. I'm going to use the the scout here to grab that trailer because I want to sell it. Ultimately, I just want to sell it. I'm going to grab the, the bricks off of it and turn them in because why not? Yeah, those are from have you ever seen the, the show The Office? I basically 
just made a bunch of a bunch of those from the office. So those are all just little snippets from Yeah, I love that love that show. It would never survive today. Cuz everyone gets so offended over everything, but it's a super good show. I want to get the one where where Michael is like I think they told him like Toby was coming back or something like that and he's like no god no stop by get a little sippy of fuel you know what I need to do I need to actually transport this huge tanker. Yo, what's up, Xanath? Welcome back in. Okay, so we're on the move. Oh no. Exactly, Alfred, exactly, man. Everyone gets so that's the thing, man, is like we have it so good. I can only speak about the, the United States, okay? So I'm an American. So I can only speak about my own experience. But we honestly have it so good that we literally create our own problems and things to be mad about. And that is really sad. Like, there are countries that legitimately have real issues. Like starvation. Um, like, just go to Africa. Third world countries. Like, those people have real problems. Like, the United States, like, we have it so good that, yeah, we just create our own issues. Everyone's, a phone, everyone's offended over everything. So, like... Like I was saying, shows like The Office, there's no way that show would that show would never air. It's probably the reason it was taken off Netflix. Because people just get offended over everything. Yeah, it's the thing, man. No one can joke anymore. Like, some of the old movies, man, oh my gosh, like, they used to make fun of, make fun of everything, and it was just funny, because, like, people just laughed it off. Man, I wish that, I mean, sometimes I feel like I, I, I was born in a time where I shouldn't have been. I don't know, that just... That's just me. The UK office was kind of cringy. I think it... I guess it's... I guess, yeah, it is It is cringy, but it's hilarious. Like, Steve Carell is hilarious, man. Oh. Actually, you know what I did? I did something really bad. I was supposed to turn somewhere and I didn't. That's fine, I'll go get these drilling spare parts first. Yeah. That would be fun, man. I mean, you think about it, like, I don't know. I think social media has has really made humans stupid. Social media has been terrible. I mean, it's 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 even showed like depression, anxiety, suicides have all basically climbed since social media dropped. Because everybody's comparing their life to one another when you really don't need like your life is totally unique compared to someone else's. So. 
we're too interested in comparing like hey what do i have that they don't what do i have that they don't looking at these these instagram posts and thinking that's like real life it's not it's like a highlight reel Social media was bad until you found me. I try to keep it clean on here, man. I'd like everybody to be able to enjoy coming to this stream. Seeing machinery. Okay. Alright, so. This is going to be very interesting. Okay. Unpack. Hey, Mr. Scout, time for us to separate ways just for a little bit. Oh! What are you... Oh, what are you doing? Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. People are just too serious about stuff, man. <laughs> As I'm playing a serious uh, campaign, right? Okay, come on. I think I should be okay once I get this cargo actually in my bed. Stupid. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is! It's about to get all stupid, stupid up, up in, in here. here! About to get all stupid! Man, I think one of my... The crazy thing about The Office is, like, some nights, I think when I watch it... Oh, I wanted it to be... Whatever. Some nights when I watch it, it's not as funny as other nights. It's weird. Because, like, sometimes you're in the mood to watch funny things, sometimes you're not. But there was this one line, the one night I was, like, just watching it, and... I think Oscar on The Office was trying to explain to Michael, he's like... Michael, we have we have uh, end of year funds that we haven't used. Like we need to use them. So like, what what should we do? And he was like, I don't understand what that means. He's like, end of year funds. And he's like, it's like you have an excess of funds you haven't used them, so you have to you know spend them on something, or they they go away. And he couldn't understand that. He's like, he told Oscar, he's like, okay, explain this to me like I'm like I'm twelve. And <laughs> Oscar goes, well. Let's say you have a lemonade stand and you make or you make this much money, but you don't spend. So he says, like, you make ten dollars, but you or you make a one hundred dollars or some, some type of thing. And then he said and Michael's interrupted him. He's like, hey, explain this to me like I'm five or like seven. And Oscar goes, daddy gives you five dollars, but you only spent two. That is us having excess funds, I lost it. So funny. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go back down the hill. What's up, General? Welcome in, man. How is your night? Let's go this way. Hopefully, I can get a little running start here. Come on, please. See if I can get myself. Come on, get my tires up there. You're having a late supper and I'm providing the entertainment. Come on, you.
insane. really that hard my man okay I guess it is that hard this, this is really <laughs> this is really that hard to get out of here all right that's true I don't need to be mature all the time Oh man, I'm. If you ask my wife, she'll probably say I'm the most immature person. Like, I don't really do a lot of like voices and stuff like that, but I can do a lot of voices, actually. I non, I I nonstop clown around, which is. It's probably why my wife likes me so much, you know. <laughs> no. But yeah. I do. She was she always says my family thinks I should go for like uh like voice acting and stuff like that. That's something that not a lot of people really really know. I don't really disclose that I can do a lot of like voices and stuff. What are you doing? Can you get out of this? Please. What is going on? I'm like suction cupped. Like what happened? What happened there? Yo, rookie thirty first. Thank you so much for that follow on Twitch. Welcome in. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? This is just getting worse and worse. Actually, wait, hold on. Can I reach this pole? I can't. <gasps> oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's like there, but I can't reach it. Okay, so I got an idea. Dude, are you serious? Alright, let's try this. Whoa! Oh man, thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, rookie. Thank you, man. Welcome in. We are doing some crazy mod called a an upgrade randomizer, and then there's also some baked in stuff where it takes me uh, three three mounts three times the amount of experience to level. So. I'm currently only level three and we've done a ton so I don't have a lot of stuff don't have a lot of trucks right now we're just making do and we're doing pretty good last uh, at last episode um, we pulled off some pretty cool rescues with this current setup that we have oh my goodness don't high center don't high center please But yeah, all these all these playthroughs each episode will be I'll post these on YouTube. So it's kind of tough. Like I feel like I'm I've been posting a lot of streams on YouTube lately instead of like reviews and stuff like that. But basically I've done every every truck review in the game so far, so I feel like I'm reaching for for some stuff to keep me interested and, and this definitely I think this playthrough kind of did it. What mission is next? Any plans? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to finish this one out. This task, I guess. And then 
You know what I might do? I might pull that, um... That fuel trailer. We'll see. I know I need to pull this big trailer out, actually. So I could potentially do that. I wonder how this truck would be without all... I mean, without... Without all-wheel drive. Or without a race suspension. So, oh, we, I mean, we could do something. Wait, is there... I thought... Wait a second, hold on, I have to make sure. I thought there was a... Okay, never mind, that's somewhere else. <laughs> I thought there was a, a trailer back there, but I think that's in a different area. Okay, these next two, instead of drilling spare parts, are probably going to be pretty tough to get. The only thing you're missing from the DLCs is the third year. The only thing you wish you had? Well, honestly, Alfred, if uh, if I get 25 subscriptions, I will give away a DLC in a raffle. So you could potentially win, you could potentially win a, a DLC in a DLC raffle. I will give away, I think I'm gonna give away, um, Year passes. I'll I think I'm going to do two giveaways in the same day, actually. If I hit that, I'll probably give away two. So maybe two people will get, um, will win. So, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we, re we reach the goal and then I'll do that. I definitely would like to give away, um, or I'll, I'd like to give a DLC away to somebody who needs it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it doesn't matter who wins. If you, if you win, you win. But, oh gosh, come on. Okay. I think this is it right here. Actually, no, it's not. But I could cut down. I'm not going to. I really am not looking forward to this. I, I kind of have a bad feeling. But I don't have a race suspension on this thing. I think that's kind of like a gift. Or... Yeah, I think it's more of a gift than a curse. I think I won't tip over as much going up through here. Okay, number three. Maybe this won't be as bad as I thought, actually. Could be bad. I could fall off into that little, like, whatever that is. Crevasse. 
mud pit, precipice, whatever. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look how easy that, like, went in. Nice. Door crane. Pack pack. Cool. Let's go. Oh, yeah. For sure. I think they're doing a special where you get, like, the... The, um... I think it's, like, the year one, year two, year three, and snow runner, Or, I forget how much. Okay, what am I doing here? Uh, Bleed Star, uh, go forward. Uh, hello? What's the issue? I'm trying to, kind of trying to spin him around actually. So maybe what I'll do is do this. We'll reverse. Winch. Okay, let's try this now. Food is done. You ready for some shenanigans? Oh. Well, the shenanigans are... I don't know. Maybe they're here. Maybe they're not. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not a bad price. Okay, so here is the... Here is the problem I see coming up. This looks like it's going to get real tippy. Maybe you brought some with you? <laughs> Can I crawl out of here with just diff lock? Nope. Oh my gosh, if you think about how much content, I think, okay, so for a hundred dollars, okay, you're, you're getting probably, I'm going to say, I don't know if this is a conservative or more of a liberal number, but seasons year one, two, and three, yo, Garabedli. Thank you so much for that follow. Probably play, I probably just slaughtered your name, but forgive me for that. Thank you for that follow. Anyways, so if you think about year one, year two, and year three, that is potentially a thousand hours of gameplay. So, I mean, that's a deal. But the thing is, you have to like the game enough to want to put that many hours into it. I'm coming up, honestly, I'm coming up on 3,000 hours. So. I still enjoy it. I, honestly, I, I was getting kind of bored with it. But I, I think this, this playthrough is, is kind of, kind of helped. Just because the, this scenario, also my co-op with max power on low tier trucks, that kind of sparked my, my interest too. One dollar per hour is not bad. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if I can diff lock this over this. No.
Oh, so you have 842 hours and you didn't get it until it came out on Steam? Dang, man. That is... Eight, 842 is... That is around the time I lost my save on, on Epic Games. <laughs> that sucked. Okay, so we're gonna drop this off. Drop this off, come back for the scout. I'm gonna put the scout back on this truck. We are going to head over to get that scout trailer. Yeah, that's the good thing about watching streams, man. It is a it is a really good streaming game. It's kind of it's a very niche, I guess, game, I guess you would call it. Like, if you don't enjoy watching this, I don't know. If you don't enjoy, like, off-roading type games, you won't enjoy watching this. But I still enjoy watching this. I, I like watching a lot of streams that are SnowRunner. I just find myself... Um, I find myself backseating too much, though, when I watch people play. It's like I, I, it's like I want to help them. I want to tell them like, I want to download like all the knowledge I have. But like, I gotta remember like, they're playing their game. I'm playing mine. Like you know, not everybody wants to take my my word for it. Not bad. We might have more work for you. Keep this up. Let me see if my wife texts me because I need to know when she's coming home. Okay, no, she didn't. It's a good bit of money there, too. Can you choose a mission? Okay, what mission do you want to choose? Well, wait, I need to I need to go grab this trailer. This trailer, I need to grab this with my scout, so... Let me see if I can grab this trailer first. As a chat? Oh, man, I don't have... I need to put, like, a poll. Like, what mission we're going to do next, or what should I do next? I need to start doing stuff like that. Watching is stressful? <laughs> really? General, no. Uh, are you serious? You're that, you're that invested. Okay. All right, let me, I'll stop. All right, which one you want to choose? Please not drown heavy truck, because there's no way I'm getting this thing out of here with highway tires. There's, I yeah, I have no, no vehicles of mine have all-wheel drive right now. Because the randomizer kind of just made that, made that part real, real tough on me. Okay, so I have that. I have wet harvest. So wet harvest, things go to the farm. Materials order. I can't do this because it's in Smithville. I can't do this because it's in Smithville. Save the Kodiak. I have the Kodiak already. I saved it. Pipe dream. This is another one that I have open. It's bringing this trailer up to the factory. And then deliver bricks and metal beams. Do wet harvest. Okay, I'll do wet harvest next. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. <laughs> the anti terrorist barricades. Man, 
General, I didn't know you got stressed out watching SnowRunner. <laughs> Wait, what doesn't seem to be working? Oh, I don't have a poll. I don't have any polls up right now. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to start doing that a little bit. Man, why put this back here, though? This is not a good trailer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Disgusting. Trying to help them through my monitor? Oh. Actually, wait. Okay, we'll see how far we can pull this thing. I might try to deliver some of this stuff over there. If I can deliver both these bricks real quick, and then I want to bring this, this trailer back to sell it. I absolutely need that money. Oh, what in the world? What was that? It's like one of those like little gremlins grabbed me or something. Stay out of the mud. Yeah, it, it's it's hard to drive. I've been using it, oh my gosh, since episode one. But it, it's been doing alright. I did King of the Hill with it. Completely stock. And it's it's been doing pretty good. I think I might actually <laughs> deliver these bricks with this scout. I am seriously, like, impressed. I did not expect this at all. It's so much bigger than the vehicle. I mean, look at that thing. Okay, let's try to like go around. Amazing, man. This is seriously like I'm I'm like <laughs> I'm kind of in awe right now. I did not think a scout is going to pull this, especially this one. I think that's the most surprising thing. However, we did get the the uh, the final engine for this thing on this map, which was part of the randomizer. That and the CJ7. So both those trucks actually got upgrades, which were the only upgrades that I got to my fleet. Kinda, yeah, it is kind of really... Oh man, if you see the CJ7, it's like probably almost smaller than one of those pieces of cargo. 
I'm gonna try to stay over this way. Pretty much home free right now. Yeah. No, no. The CJ7 is the uh, the the Jeep. CJ7 Renegade is a Jeep. It's from the Jeep pack. It's the the smaller one that can't haul a trailer. Okay, so this is good because now I don't have to actually go grab those bricks and bring them all the way up here. Alright. So. I will start wet harvest after I drive this back to the garage. Oh, you mean the uh, the Gore by Four from season seven? Tony, guys. The Scout 800 is not as bad as you think. <laughs> Can't believe it. Can't believe it. So the crazy thing is, I think it's good that it, we have this this vehicle because, um, as you can see, I don't have a good gearbox where I can have like high gear or a couple low gears. Well, the thing is, if you have a vehicle that is always on diff lock, like this vehicle here, you essentially don't really need to shift down into low gear at all. You can just clutch bump. So, and still have performance. And with this gearbox, I'm pretty much not burning much fuel. And I still get a sh what's called a switchable all wheel drive, so I can save some fuel here and there, but it's not really too much of a concern, to be honest. Oh, the Dawn. The Dawn 71? Oh my gosh. There's no... Oh man, the Dawn 71 would not be able to do this at all. Just driving up a hill with the Dawn 71, your front end comes off the ground. I don't I don't know why I I seriously wonder why Saber even made that vehicle. How it is. Like I'm glad they made that vehicle, but like why how do, how do you not notice that you made a vehicle that's so so like tail heavy that it, it can't even keep its wheels on the ground. And then <laughs> the crazy thing is like if you attach a trailer to it you can't you can't steer because you're so light in your front end. And then you have this trailer pulling you down. Just like what am I doing with this? Which is probably why it's not very popular. Uh, uh, like the reason probably. Well, scouts are not popular anyways. Oh yeah, that's right. So hey, so check this out. My so we got this popcorn machine, right? So I'm gonna be able to make popcorn. My wife also got me, um, she got me this kit that you can, like, you can put like smoke in whiskey. So like you fill a glass with some whiskey, 
And then you can like, there's this torch and they have like, you know, cherry wood or all these different types of woods. You can like add, add like a smoke flavor to your, um, to your whiskey. It's kind of, kind of cool. I'm going to have to try it out. I've had a, a drink that had like some type of smoke in whiskey and it was actually pretty good. It was like a, an old fashioned that had some type of like smoke flavor and they had like smoke was like rolling out of the glass. So I'm kind of interested to try it. I don't really drink much at all but sometimes i'll have like a little shot of whiskey with uh some ice or something like that one of your favorite scouts is the the marshal the con marshal oh this way this way turn con marshal is really strong that truck i I guarantee people used the mess out of that truck when this game first came out. Like a scout that has mud tires that can go through the deepest mud in the game right at level one. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, it does. They The crazy thing is they nerfed its fuel capacity, too. I don't know why Saber thought it was really too strong, so they, they took its fuel capacity down. Another vehicle they, they did that to as well was the, uh, the Azov uh, 5319. It was originally slotted to have 350 liters, which would be like 93 gallons or something like that. And then they, they nerfed it. Before, I think right before game launch. Okay, cool. We're back. Nice. There's 3,400. All right, I'm going to recover my Fleet Star because we're going to use him for... You know what? Hold on a second. We're going to switch it up. Stock, UHDs, oh shoot. Of course I can't use that, of course I can't use that. So here's the thing also, if you get this randomizer, something you have to look out for is, whenever you go to click on this, and you wanna find out where the all-wheel drive unit is, it's gonna tell you where it's at. So I'm trying to stop. No, I'm trying to stop myself from actually looking. So then I'll give it away. I already ruined it with this. Here it is. This engine that's found in this map here in the game is now found in a more. <laughs> so kind of sucks. All right. So I want this paint. I think this is I mean, that paint's so good. Okay. All right. Um. Sideboard bed. We're going to use the Olsum. All right, so what are we doing here? Wet harvest, right? All right, cool. So I need to go get metal beams, wooden planks. Metal beams and wooden planks. Oh man, that's I kind of like that a lot actually. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, I don't want I don't want that. No, not that either. 
actually hold on they have so many options right I want this one I kind of like that but I kind of want this one that hold on it's like back here Try this one. We'll try this one out. I haven't tried this one at all, so. Okay, so we're going to town first. Yeah, we'll give the Kodiak some love, right? Why not? That little sideboard bed looked pretty good. The one with the wheels in the front? I don't know. I wanted to try this one out. This one looks pretty cool. Almost looks like a, a big scout trailer. You were looking forward to the Kodiak and you got it? Yeah, and honestly, I wish I had the all-wheel drive for it, because then I would pretty much be using the Kodiak exclusively, but... I can feature it. I can actually feature it a little bit more. I think the only reason I wasn't because of the crane. Crane and the double, double tires in the back. But I'll give it a shot. I'm sure it'll do just fine. Oh, you only use it for for a fuel truck? Man, I, I wish it could use a small crane. I mean, with a bed, maybe, because it's not really good to use with a, a low saddle, with a small crane, that's, it's not good with low saddle at all, just because it's frame length, so, I don't know. Alright, Alfred, thanks for stopping by, man, I know it's probably so late over there. Get some rest, man, thank you for stopping in, we will definitely see you next time. Oh man, I love it. This is this is a great looking truck. You know what? They just brought out new new camos and one of them was for this one and I think it's terrible. I think some of those camos that they're coming out with are terrible. The new camo set they just came out with, oh my gosh. I would have to load up my old game or my other game on on Steam to look at them. I just don't like where they're going with all these camos. Like this one is probably one of the best I've seen. Ooh. Like straight up army green. Flag tearing through. Oh man. I guess olive green. I guess that's what it was called. No. Truck. Here we go. Thank you. 
Now down to get some wooden planks. Oh. Olive drab, yeah. But even like I feel like the the custom paint job for like the Azov 5319, the custom paint job for the Azov 64131, like those look terrible. Like those little like custom special paint jobs they put out, like those look terrible. Maybe not terrible, but like they they don't look that good compared to this. I mean, some trucks have really good. I think like the Tatrin has a really awesome custom paint job. Like the alligator, that is sick. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's see if we can just run through this stuff and just... The Tega Custom, I'm trying to think. The Tega Custom looks like. Oh, oh, the Tiger Stripes. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Yeah, the Tiger Stripes is pretty cool, for sure. Awesome, that's so cool. Gosh, I love Black River, man. Seriously. So the mod maker um, that made this mod, actually, he was talking about making um, like a random, randomized missions on certain regions. So he would essentially make missions like basically add missions to this this region they would be like kind of like random so i don't know if anyone would would want to do that i think i probably would if they were kind of like unique and pretty well well made Man, this thing is doing really well. <laughs> doing really well. Tony, man, they should have made the Kodiak like a scout. They should have made it like the, the F750. It would have been regarded as one of the better scouts in the game if they made it similar to the F750. But it could haul, you know, trailers like this, can haul cargo. Maybe only a one slot bed. 
with a crane. You would essentially turn a, a heavy duty truck into like a, an elite scout. Man, this thing is really pulling really well. Oh, that's so much better. So much better to the back of that trailer. And then the little, the two axles. Or the fore and aft. I think I'm a fan of this little, this trailer right here. This pog, I mean, I think it's pogrims. I gotta get bricks now too. Oh, that's sad. This is a cool trailer, honestly. I think this would actually go pretty well. Ah, oh. I want to check this actually. No, I don't like that I have to go back there to that one spot for bricks. Let's do this. I'm going to do something real quick. I might try something out. Do something different here. I want to utilize the Kodiak. Here's why. Here's why a general, because whenever whenever I went up through here, uh, I got stuck with my fleet star going over here to the warehouse. So because of that, I essentially need to kind of go this way and then down to get there because there's like rocks here and I don't have all wheel drive. It's just not fun. Oh, this actually might work really well. Uh, Ramp up, ramp down. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Keep it on. Yeah, this is a cool trailer. It actually has repair points and fuel on it, actually, too. And it can hold three slots of cargo. Ooh. Pretty sweet. All right, let's let's try it out. <laughs> Kodiak to the rescue. Well, not really.
I just wonder how it's going to be able to pull this thing. We'll see, though. Oh, okay. So far, so good. I'm just going to, like, I'm going to keep a low gear in, actually, right now. I'll, like, go up this hill. I feel like as soon as I lose traction, I'm going to not go anywhere. And it's already struggling. Let's go. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't think it was a good idea. I think it's just overwhelming. I don't know. Oh, I just broke that. What in the world? Okay, this is where it's going to get real tough. This is going to get real tough here. One second, I have a phone call. I will be right back, guys.
Okay, we're back. Sorry, guys. Um, had a little phone call. I think my brother has... I think my brother got COVID. So he can't taste anything right now. So he's telling me about it. All right, you know what? We're, we're going back down the hill. I'm not... We're not doing this. This thing is too heavy. It, it's, it's just way too heavy. The Kodiak is not going to be able to pull this thing around, especially down there to where it's going to get bricks. So we're going to we're going to head back <laughs> with this thing. I'm going to whip it around here. See, this is why <laughs> this is why I love saddle trailers right here. Man, this would be a great trailer, though, because the Kodiak has trouble with frame contact and then this this trailer gives it a lot of room under there to traverse so it would have been really cool to try this out I just don't think it's gonna work Nice to see me diving deeper into the world of mods. Yeah, this is it's a cool trailer. I like this one a lot. This one essentially can do everything. It's just like you can haul. I could put vehicles on it. I could put three slots of cargo on it. Repairs. It's it's good. This is a really good. Let's see, I need to sell this off. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> I'm going to actually get my, my fleet star back out. Put my awesome bed on. My crane back on. Okay. I need to get two bricks. This is what really sucks, is I don't want to do this. Oh, man. So here, here's the issue is, last time I went up through here with the Fleet Star, going up through here sucks really, really bad. But I'm going to do it, especially with highway tires and just diff lock, it sucks, but I'm just going to try to do it. I'm not going to bring a scout with me this time, I'm just going to try to do it alone. If I get stuck, I can use my crane to kind of like dig my way out. So we'll just, we'll do it up. But yeah, my brother, the crazy thing is, is he said that he thinks he has COVID. Oh, I can't go through there. Huh, <laughs> I gotta go around. I'm thinking I'm a scout. Um, yeah, he called me. He's like, hey, I think I have COVID. And legitimately, he was here at my house. I was cutting his hair. Like, oh man, maybe like four hours ago. And then he was over at my house. We were watching uh, that series called The Chosen earlier, like earlier this week. And he said that he was sick and stuff like that. And I was like, oh. So he called me. He says like, I got COVID, or I think I do, because he, he's losing his taste. He said, and that's like clear sign. But I'm not too worried. The shortcut behind the garage. Are you talking about like going up that hill? This hill. This hill here. We just go right here between the trees and up. Yo, what's up, Draconis? Welcome in.
Oh, no, I, I don't use that one, actually. I don't know if I would be able to get through that. With I mean, I'm struggling with the Fleet Star right now. I don't even know how well it could climb that hill. Um, no. Draconis, this is a... Um, an upgrade randomizer. So what happened is I didn't get an all-wheel drive upgrade for this vehicle because all of the all the um, all the upgrades in the game have been scrambled to different locations. So instead of me getting the all-wheel drive upgrade where this this vehicle normally gets it, which is right out in front of it, it actually was the Zix five three five three six eight. Um, raised suspension yeah so it's it's kind of it's kind of uh challenging right now the only real upgrade that i got that helped my fleet was an engine that was for two of my scouts that i have and yeah that's pretty much it so started off with zero money and then also um the mod maker that that made this mod he baked in a a scenario where it takes me three times the experience to level up so i am only level three and i'm pretty much getting done with black river almost so it's been pretty rough i mean i kind of wish i had i did have some weight now I kind of wish I did have the uh, the scout on top of my on my truck. The vehicle randomizer, yep. He was actually talking to me on the phone about that. Uh, Crazy Dave was, or Naked Dave was, and we were, we both kind of came to an agreement that it would be kind of crazy if someone got like a Zix or something. It would essentially ruin your game because, I mean, the game's not hard after that, right? But yeah, he's 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 actually working on another mod where um it makes it so ran random missions come up in regions like I don't know, like regions regions like this where you could, you know, complete ran random missions and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, I got past that part. That's awesome. So, he he's thinking about doing something like that. He's done some other mods too. Um, a free camera mod as well. He's done that one. Really, really cool, actually. Come on, Fleet Star. <laughs> I just need weight, man. I need weight. I should be okay as soon as I get up the top of this hill. Okay, cool. I think we should be out of the woods. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we make it back, which I think is going to be a lot easier. Oh, you've done this entire thing without all wheel drive. Oh, I'm going to be in all terrains. This is going to be my highest upgrade. But I'm hoping to get something with all-wheel drive, though. 
We'll see. But yeah, oh, for sure. This can this can be completed without all-wheel drive. That's a good challenge though, right? No, I will. I'm going to hit rank 8. I'm just not allowing myself to have um There's the rules, actually. I need to add something else to those rules. I'm going to make it so um, for any other, for whenever I go to an ice map, I can have, I can have rear chains. So they're just all terrains on most trucks with chains on them. It's kind of like realistic, like you go to trucks, like realistically, usually just use rear chains. So hopefully, hopefully it works out though. I don't know. Those missions might, those, uh, I mean, rules might bend a little bit depending on how hard this challenge continues because <laughs> yeah, the, the upgrades have not been very good so far. Oh, for sure. Oh, they absolutely are. In my opinion, they are for sure. I, I made a whole video about about why they are actually. Well, the whole video wasn't just about OHDs, but I see. Yeah, it's the one that, that's um, it's called mud running tips. It's called like an in-depth look at mud tires and grip. So if you look at an OHD tire compared to like a Tega tire, uh, the OHDs are actually wider. So something something that that's really cool about having a, a tire that has a lot of width with. Thank you for that follow, by the way, Draconis. Um, the width of a tire helps you withstand being overwhelmed by weight. And it also allows you to gain more grip with weights, right? So the OHDs are wider than the Tega tire. We all know that Tega tire can go through super mud. You can't do that with an OHD though, right? Because the front tires are not the same. You're going to bury your front end. But so the, so the the thought is weight on wheels so is, is is a huge principle. Um, I mean, I pretty much this whole this whole run has been proving how good weight on wheels is. Also, I did a an American co-op with Max Power where kind of the same thing: highway tires, just diff lock. Weight on wheels, it just drives traction to a certain point, pending the width of the tire. But you also have to have bite as well. The tire actually needs, still needs to be able to bite into the surface. But yeah, in short, man, that's kind of a really long explanation. In short, I think... If a vehicle has an option for an OHD and then there's an option for a mud tire, I'm going to always choose the OHD. No.
But that's true. That's true. They do they do actually penetrate surface better than like a Tega tire would. That's true. Go in reverse. That's a good that's a good uh good trick. That is a good little trick actually. Cause then you're dragging your your thinner tire, which is the one up front, through last. And you're penetrating with your, your wide tires going through. That is that's good. I like that. Okay, well, Alfred wanted Wet Harvest as the contract to do, and he bounced. I wonder how many missions I have left here, just exclusively in, in Black River. It's probably going to be maybe, I'm thinking like three or four. Nice. It's going to make a big difference. These farmers would have been in real trouble if it weren't for you. I'm sure they'll be calling on your services again soon. 420 experience. It's a lot of experience for it right now. Where are we at? <laughs> 3,600. Okay, so we've completed 29% of Michigan so far. And we're still only level 3. <laughs> so it's it's, uh, it's going to be tough. All the... Oh the gosh, Drowned Heavy Truck. I haven't completed that yet because that's going to be really hard. We'll probably take a stab at that sometime. Oh, the Essentials. So... That's that's there. These are all to Smithfield Dam. This is one here. I think it's timber for the locals. Is yeah. Two missions. Two missions left in in Black River. Three. Two contracts and one task left. And I've done this all with highway tires. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, it is legit difficult. Yeah, it is. But anyways, y'all, it is time for me to go. I, I wasn't allowed to stream too long tonight. I did stream earlier today as well for like three hours. So um, yes, I will actually daisy chain vehicles. That's something I'm planning on doing down there with the scout and such. So hopefully I don't have too much trouble. On episode two, we did pull out a lot of a lot of vehicles with, with that fleet, fleet star as is. So hopefully we still can do kind of good, but... I'm not really expecting it, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping out tonight. Have a wonderful Saturday night, Sunday morning, wherever you're at in the world. And until next time, we will see you later. God bless and stay upright.